Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is a tag video. So I've been tagged in by lovely Debbie from Debbie's World to do this video. So this video is, I've got it all written down here. So I've got my laptop where I've got the questions in here and then I've got the answers written down here because I've prepared that for the last half an hour. It's 11 o'clock now, so I'm trying to record it as soon as I can. So I have that ready because I don't have got much time. I was going to do it during a day, uh, but then I end up having no time. So now I'll do it in the evening. So it doesn't matter when I do it as long as I do it. So yeah, that's you got the background of my day a bit. <laughs> so yeah. Let me get on with the questions, otherwise my little one will wake up with uh, my voice. So, let's, where was I? So, yeah, question number one. Um, how many channels are you subscribed to? I count them, and I'm subscribed to 67 channels altogether, uh, but only about half of them is a Slimming World related now because some of them I counted it as 31 it's they are either no longer following Slimming World or they are no longer vlogging so their channel will be not up and running and um, they uh, I've got also some live vloggers so they vlog about their lives some mummy vloggers and loads of exercise as well exercise videos so that's about roughly what I subscribe to. Question number two, when do you normally watch Slimming World YouTubers video? Um, so, <laughs> that's, um, it's randomly, so prior to me having my daughter, which she is now eight months old, I would used to watch them when I got home from work. So I work nine to five, then I got home and then I would turn, the t uh, well, instead of turning the telly on, I would turn my laptop on and I would watch them there. So that was prior to that. Nowadays, well, since I had her, so it's slightly different. So I don't have got a dedicated time when I normally watch that. So now I do it when I breastfeed because it's nice because I sit down and I've got something to watch. When I wash up dishes, any spare time or any quiet time to myself where, where my little one, she's got her little nap so I've got time to watch. Or when we play on the floor. So I've got a, in the background, I've got instead of having a telly on, I've got the my laptop on so and I also have got my it's on an auto play so it goes from one video to another so I don't have to press play so that's why I don't get some time chance to comment on something because um, because it just goes from one video to another so sometimes I'm, I'm making to a habit when it jumps into a next video I'll click automatically click the like button so at least um, I support someone's channel but then I don't get necessary chance to comment so then I have to pause and then do the comments so let me get back to the question when playing on the floor um oh yeah and also sometimes when my little one sometimes when she she can't like when when she doesn't want to be put down to the floor so I've got little baby carrier baby little sling so I put her to my chest then I stand up I put the laptop on the on the kitchen table and we have got a big patio door to look out on the garden so then I rock myself so I watch the the videos but then by rocking myself then she looks outside to the garden she looks at the birds and looks at everything look at the the trees moving and then it I rock her to sleep while I watch a video so otherwise it's really boring just to stand there and rocking hair so yeah that's when I watch videos as well uh, uh, question number three how do you balance between watching Slimming World YouTube video to normal life making content and commenting oh, about the commenting I already said that sometimes I struggle uh, sometimes I have to pause the video and then make a comment um, uh, to, well I make time as well uh, I make time so I dedicate my time to 
not only to watch but also to comment so sometimes my comments would be like take me two or three days because I'll be planning no this evening or this afternoon I'll sit down and comment so I tend to comment all in a one chance on my video if people comment to me so that'll be all in particular comment um, commenting at the same time but to the videos as I watch them as I go along sometimes I don't have got things to say or sometimes I just feel like oh yeah I just press the like button and I just carry on watching uh, I prepare for the video so I just sit down and I write the video I write what I want to what I want to talk about and then it takes me a day or two to actually record it so whenever I've got a spare time but I do like to generally prepare for the video because at least I know what I'm talking about because sometimes I can sit down ramble on for so long and then actually stop recording and then when I go to edit it I just think oh yeah I should have talked about that I should have talked about that so yeah I tend to like prepare what I want to talk about is there a different uh, difference between the videos you like watching and the ones you like making uh, um, generally no I would say uh, I like well mostly I like watching a day in the life video um, that's because I as I said I subscribe to loads of other just um, daily vloggers and also <laughs> I like to watch other people houses so I like but that's when in the daily vlog what they are up to and what they're doing out and about and in their own house but I'm not really ready to show my own house so I only show bits and bobs from the house where I think it's a tidy corner so yeah as my house is not a showroom and it's not a perfect at the moment so no, I don't like to show a bit of my house, but I like to watch everyone else's. And like, um, uh, I thought this this channel, well, now this channel tends to be only Living World related beforehand. I thought it was going to be more baby related as well. So it's going to show a bit more things because I like to show, uh, I like to see what the other mums are doing around with their kids and what they have got ready for them and doing the kid, kid things. So I like to watch that, but yeah I'm not ready to show any other pieces of my house yet so probably one day I might be ready but not yet um, question number five who is the first living world youtuber you subscribe to and do you still watch them uh, yeah well that's a tricky question <laughs> because I said where well, I used to go home and I would used to watch um, videos from my laptop so it took me quite a long time to figure out actually the the subscribe button how it works because for a long time I did not know how it works I would just go home and then I would use to the old-fashioned way I would just used to use the search bar on the top so I would used to because that's how I used the YouTube before I would just search how to do things around the house and how to well, basically, how to, how do you, well, how to and something else, blah, blah, blah. So then I find out I search Slimming World and then loads of things come up. So, yeah, and I would used to do it the old, the old long-winded way where I didn't know how the subscribe button worked. I would just put down the name of the person who I would want to watch in a search button and then look into their playlist or look into if they actually released a new video. So that was the long way I used to do it. And I would use, I used to didn't comment as well because I thought mm, it wasn't, it was just my name over there. And then I thought, oh, why well, would they, what would they think if that person like, it didn't have my picture, it didn't have anything. So I thought, oh, this is really weird. Well, why would I comment so I just used to click the like button quite a lot just like just like so yeah that was me so yeah going back to what did I write yeah I would used to search for a person so the first uh, because I when I started to watch the YouTube I was um maintain I was um first time I was a maintainer so I was at my target so I was looking at the people on the target. So the first person I come across was a Jane Day. So I've been following her journey from the beginning. So Jane Day was the first one. 
Then she introduced me to Debbie in one of her vlogs. And then I would used to be like, when I watch a video of someone, at, on the side you've got the suggested one, so then I would just click onto the next one. And then if I didn't like the video, I would just click on the next, along the side you've got the, uh, the suggested video. So that's how I get to know everyone and that's how I get to like, like the other's video so that's what I would used to do and also uh, because I like um, I like Scambran and that you um, uh, it was one of my favorite things and I used to make loads of Scambran cakes so I would use to search for Scambran and that was Nikki Ryan from Fropoholics she used to have a lot I think she still does have but before she made herself like now she shows her face in a in the videos but in the old times where she would just make a recipe so she had loads of loads of ideas for how to use a scan brand so that's how I come across her videos so uh, again I would use to type in her um, scan brand and her video would come up and then I would look for her so yeah again doing it the long way before subscribing um, and number six, who is the most recent Slimming World YouTuber you subscribe to? That would be Nikki Conley. Um, and it was, again, because Debbie mentioned her, her, on, her channel, uh, on her channel, saying that she, was, uh, she had a beautiful Irish accent. And I know when I used to work in office, everyone would be like, oh, uh, when, we had, uh, when we talked to our, um, the suppliers or where we talk to the people from Scot uh, from Scotland or from Ireland everyone would be like oh look at uh, oh I love to talk into say for example Michael from from Ireland oh because he's got a lovely accent oh I like to talk to someone blah 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 from Edinburgh because they have got lovely accent blah 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 so yeah it doesn't really to me it doesn't really make any difference so what, whoever accents is what but yeah it made me like oh yeah I'm gonna click to her and I'm gonna subscribe to her so I've been watching her story for quite a while so now I need to watch a bit more to get the background but yeah so that's my recent subscribers a uh, recent subscriber a recent person that I subscribe to um, number seven shared an old favorite slimming world youtuber um, that would be an old favorite it would be uh, Laura Rebecca uh, W um, so let me just say what I've wrote about her. She has got loads of recipe on her channel. That's how I come across her because again, I was searching for some recipe and her channel come up. So uh, yeah, I like her. And she also like, uh, uh, she does a weekly vlogs as well. So I like to watch um, what she's up to. So it's not only about Slimming World related. It's only what she's up to, her day in a day life and all that so yeah I like that and also because I've been following her for, for years now so when she used to work for Sainsbury's coffee shop um, she described the daily struggle to exactly the same how I felt before uh, because I used to work for four years I used to work in a coffee shop I used to work for Costa and I would go through exactly the same thing what Rebecca has gone through so listening to her every single week saying the same thing and I was like oh yeah I remember that things oh yeah I remember being short staff oh I remember blah 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 so yeah it's I could relate to her a lot so yeah and I like her I like her recipe as well um, question number eight, share a new favorite Slimming World YouTuber. Um, that would be a person who started this tag actually. It would be Rachel from Bales 1986SW. Because whenever I watch her video, she's always lovely and smiley and very positive. So um, I like to watch her because she motivates me for a week ahead and she's a really, really positive person. So yeah. Uh, person to recommend yeah and that would be Rachel well that's who I like to watch Rachel she's not a new I think she's been doing it for about the same time as I have or probably a little bit shorter I think she came from Instagram and because I don't do Instagram I just do YouTube it's just um, 
yeah it's just what the, I just concentrate on one thing so I don't do anything else I'll just do it here so yeah I think she mentioned it in the beginning that she she's got Instagram and she was doing it there so now she came here um and um, what uh no, question number nine what have you learned from watching slimming world youtubers um <clears throat> that everyone is a different here and it's a you get the same variety as you get in your group so when i go to my image therapy again you've got all, everyone from different walks of life and everyone's doing the same thing so it's actually that's what all puts us together so we've got all the same passion we've got the, all the same same aim actually the same way um, same aim is to lose the weight and then maintain it for good so that's the that's what i like so it's like everyone's got the same passion and everyone's got different outlook on it but yeah it's um oh, what was the question again yeah, that's what I learned from everyone. Everyone does it their own way. And question number 10, uh, tag three people. So who am I going to tag? I've written it down here because I had a look and I don't think they've done the video. They might have been tagged along the way. So let me just do them anyway. So I uh, I tag Claudia, La uh, Claudia Lane, Tess SW and Vicky from Vicky's World. So, and all the channels that I mentioned along the way, I'm just going to put them in a description box below. So if you want to go and check them out. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Debbie, for tagging me. And I'll see you in my next video. And click the like button if you liked it or if you end up watching it up to the end. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye, everyone.